There's motion at my front door. Who is it? I don't even know if I want to check. Maybe they'll get the hint and go away. <laughs> okay, it was just a delivery. I'll open the package maybe in a little bit. I don't think it's for me. Uh, but I do have plenty more to get done today. I, first, I want to make lunch because, well, because I'm hungry. It's not quite lunchtime, but like, it's good enough. When you wake up at 4.30 in the morning, what time is the rest of the day? That didn't make sense, but like nothing makes sense right now. Okay, what else do I have to do? <laughs> I'm sure I'll make dinner with you because tonight we're making beef stroganoff. Don't let me forget to take some beef out of the freezer. Oh my gosh, guess what else came in the other day that we have yet to set up? The baby swing finally came in. Uh, I, I have low expectations for if Wolfgang will actually sit in the baby swing because right now, Whenever I put him down, I know I have like 10 minutes to get whatever done without him in my arms, you know? So, oh, fingers crossed. I put down, I was gonna make a nice breakfast this morning, but that didn't work out. Uh, laundry will always happen. I'd tidy up the house, I mean, always. <laughs> and I have some I, organizing to do in my kitchen with like Ikea, Tupperware that I bought a while ago and have yet to put in my kitchen because I just need to rearrange some things so needless to say I have plenty to do today if I don't get to it today then it'll just keep rolling on over what's first lunch now my kitchen is a mess so just ignore that uh, but for lunch I tell you what I'm making buffalo chicken dip taquitos something like that Oh, okay, I normally, oh my gosh, it's so, I might have to wipe this down first, hold on. I normally get buffalo chicken dip, don't get it, I normally make it myself, and it is a hit every time, oh, it slaps every time, it is so good, and um, this past weekend, I just bought some, because I just didn't want to deal with it, and I regret my decision because I tried to eat this and I was like, this take, mm, it's not it. So I'm gonna have to doctor this up with some more Frank's red hot sauce. Cause that's what I really like. I might just give each little taquito a little splash. Uh, but basically that's it. It's just quick and easy chicken buffalo dip and then a tortilla. You roll it up and bake it in the oven. I'm gonna make all 10 because I'm real hungry. Let me know what's on your list of things to do today. If you have anything fun slash exciting slash important going on. This stuff is not cheap, but you know what else is not cheap? Canned chicken. I had such high hopes for this that I bought two. That's how delusional I was. You know, I just need easy these days. Easy and delicious. And oh, that's exactly what dinner is too. It has to be, it has to be. How do people do it with a million kids? I feel like I'm barely hanging on. I just wanna be a good mom, you know? All right, let me roll these guys up and get them into the oven. The faster I do this, the faster they're in my belly. I feel like if you're only making a couple of these, you can just throw them straight into your air fryer. I, you know what? Do people still love their air fryers? I don't love mine. Pop them onto a sheet pan. I'm gonna spray mine so they get a nice, I don't know, crusty and crunchy. And then 350 until they're crunchy. <laughs> I just grabbed some beef from the outside freezer for dinner tonight and I am debating whether or not to clean the kitchen because I know it's gonna like, I'm gonna be just clamoring around making a bunch of noise. Wish me luck, okay? Kitchen needs cleaned, so we're gonna do it. Let's do it. Oh yes, nothing like cleaning a kitchen to make me feel like a mom. What makes you feel like a mom? Making doctor's appointments? I remember when I had my first, that's what made me feel most like a mom. I thought, oh my gosh, there are so many doctor's appointments that I need to make. <laughs> and now looking back, like it's not that many. I feel like, I don't know, it was just overwhelming at first, you know? Um, but now with Wolfgang, his two week visit, and then the doctor was like, okay, see you in two months. And two months for me, I'm like, oh my gosh, 
that's forever away. <laughs> Even though it's not forever away and it goes very quickly. Hey, don't forget to hydrate. That's what I was trying to say. Lifting out my glass. Cheers to you if you're cleaning your kitchen too. I was trying to decide the best course of action on how to clean this muffin tray. Even when I use liners, it still gets messy. What What's the best way to clean this thing? I also wish that they had a sink in here that I'm saying they as if it's not my kitchen sink. Um, when they built this house, who decided, oh, yes, I want a divided sink. Do you have a divided sink or like one of those flawless? I, I didn't mean to say flawless. I just can't think of words these days. Farmhouse maybe is what I'm thinking of. You know, the ones without a divider. That's <laughs> that's really it. I just uh, wish I had a little bit larger of a sink because even my pots and pans like barely fit. Like to, well, it's just not that convenient. It's fine. I'm so thankful that I have a sink. I not only have one, I have two in this kitchen. So twice as much to be thankful for is what I should really be saying. I'm so thankful for running water, a kitchen sink, all the food in my fridge. It's those things that I'm thankful for. Yep. I'll take a divider in my sink. Shoot, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> the muffin pan is clean. Uh, it's good enough. It's actually, I mean, if I had to rate it on a scale of um, dirty to clean, I would say it's in between there, in between that stage. <laughs> um, my pajamas got wet, by the way. And yes, I'm wearing pajamas. Leave me alone. That's life. We're best friends. So, you know, why am I going to get dressed when my best friend's coming over? We're just hanging out together. It's just you and me. Okay. Uh, what's in my oven? Why did I check the oven? Did I cook something? And Oh, I put the, the enchiladas. See, I don't even remember. You guys, this was days ago. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is life? Uh, what time is it? What day is it? All right. I'm just wiping my counters down. This seems to be a step that some people forget to do. And sometimes when I do it, you know what Alex does? He goes through with like a bench scraper. Um, you, you know what I'm talking about, One of the, like a bench scraper, you know? And uh, you'll be amazed at the kind of stuff that he pulls off the counters when he uses a bench scraper. Okay, sorry. Got interrupted uh, like seven times while doing this voiceover. How long has it been? 45 whole seconds. <laughs> Hashtag mom life. Okay, microwave. Wow. Filthy, dirty. It's actually... Not so bad. I've seen worse, if I'm being really honest with you. I opened it. I thought it was going to be worse than it was because the outside handle was pretty bad. And so I just assumed, oh, you know, I need to clean the microwave. Might as well clean the inside of it, too. But, uh, you know, I've seen worse. It's been worse. And it's not that bad. Okay, I could have left it for a few more weeks. <laughs> but uh, I cleaned it because I thought, well, I'm here. I might as well just give it a nice good old wipe down it really only took a couple of minutes and that's all it takes really when you clean things just give it five minutes of your attention and then you don't have to think about it for at least a couple of weeks until it needs to be cleaned again and we use our microwave a lot actually and fun fact that's I think it's actually an oven too I can put it uh, like set it as an oven and it, it's pretty cool it has different settings on it like, um, I, one of the settings is bacon. I've yet to put bacon in there. <laughs> Maybe I should do it one day just for experimental purposes. Okay, I gave you a little overview. I wasn't sure if I was going to do the dishwasher or not. They were all clean dishes in there. And this is typically something that the kids do when they get home from school is empty the dishwasher or sometimes after dinner, they empty the dishwasher whenever it needs to be done, you know? Um, but I thought, you know, part of being a good mom, things I'm trying to do in my life, ah, oh, deep sigh. I'm just trying to be a good mom, you know? I'm just trying to help them out, trying to make their life easier. Yes, they have chores. Yes, they do them. Yes, that shapes them into the human being that they will once be when they're living on their own and doing their own chores. But, uh, you know, I thought, well, I'll just do it for them. And since the baby was still sleeping, uh, I had an opportunity to do it. So why not? And really, again, this only takes a few minutes of time, energy, effort. So I thought, why not? And that's exactly what I did. And then the dishes that I just washed, I give them 
as much time as it takes me to like wipe the countertops down and stuff for them to dry. And then I put them away just because I don't like to see the clutter on the uh, kitchen counters. You know, I, I like, yes, they're clean and whatever, but I feel like when the kitchen counters are um, blank, what's what's another word I'm trying to say? Cleared. Uh, it gives the appearance that it's clean. Right. <laughs> You guys know, you know what I'm trying to say. It looks better this way. And I don't like a lot of stuff on my countertops because it just, I don't know. I don't like it. So I put in the effort to put that stuff away too. And again, only took me a couple of minutes and I'm done. Okay, not perfect, but all the dishes are put away and it feels good, tidy, and good enough. I always love when we have a clear sink area okay these just came out of the oven they're not as brown as i would like and honestly they may have turned brown if i didn't spray them but they were like exploding off the sides what i'm gonna have to scoop all that stuff back in i'm gonna eat something okay well five hours later are you satisfied <laughs> no never are you gonna let me get some kitchen stuff done yeah are you gonna let me get some kitchen stuff done, buddy? The time has finally come. Um, those are the containers I got from Ikea. Not that you can see what I'm pointing at. The problem is everything else in my kitchen. And I don't wanna jump too far ahead of myself and like completely reorganize because that's just crazy. So I'm gonna try to limit it to like, I don't even know, <laughs> a couple of drawers maybe. We'll start there. Mainly, maybe, oh no, that drawer's done. Oh, hallelujah. Okay, so this drawer definitely needs my attention. I think I'm just gonna empty it and put like items together, you know, like this drawer. And then also, did I say two drawers? I meant four. This drawer and this drawer. It's like all my bowls and, and I don't know, stuff. So that's the stuff that I got from Ikea a while ago. And then in here, <laughs> see, now we're getting ahead of ourselves. Uh, this whole cabinet, really, I could, what if I just put everything in this cabinet? But I, see, I can't reach. Oh, the dilemma. I need the spices there. Oh boy. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So, <laughs> wish me luck. First thing, I'm just gonna empty everything out. And then we'll go from there. We'll make a big old mess. <laughs> Speaking of making a big old mess, <laughs> I was singing a song. I don't know what I was singing because I don't think anything is playing on Google uh, because we've yet to set up the baby monitor. So I just always have to keep an ear out for when he starts fussing. Anyway, all right, hydrate some more. Oh, speaking of the baby, the baby woke up. Oh, usually he has a good nap in the morning and then for the rest of the day, He'll sleep well on me, but if I put him down, he'll give me like 10 minutes. <laughs> Maybe, you know, 10 minutes. Uh, and even that, even that's a, a crapshoot. Okay, I'm just emptying out all of the drawers and kind of putting like items together, realizing, wow, I have a lot of hodgepodge items and I don't know what I'm going to do with any of this stuff. So it was kind of like a fly by the seat of my pants kind of moment. And I just took everything out and then went from there. I had no game plan and I think it worked out just fine. <laughs> it's good enough, you know. Speaking of my baby carrier, I posted on Instagram a picture of me the other day in it and I got a lot of questions. What is that? Um, I've talked about it before, but I, I'm not sure if I've ever like showed, I mean, I showed you when Meredith was little. Um, by the way, that strap on his leg, I should have tucked it under, but I didn't know it was there. I tuck it under eventually, but anyway, it is the Boppy Comfy Fit. It is my all-time favorite carrier of all time. It is the best of both worlds. When you think of like a buckle carrier and a wrap, it doesn't have a million feet of fabric like a normal wrap does, but it's also a lot easier to adjust than like a, an Ergo or a Tula or something like that. So if you're into baby carrying, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and this isn't talked about enough, I feel like, this baby carrier, because it is incredible. It's soft. It is comfortable. 
uh, all, all the things. It's comfortable for baby and for mom. And I love it so much. So just Google it. Oh, and it's affordable, which is the best part, I feel like. And, uh, well, affordable is subjective. I know that. But it. I want to say it's less than $50. I think maybe when I got it, I got it from Bye Bye Baby. So everything from the actual store is more expensive. But now Amazon has stuff, <laughs> you know. And I want to say it's less than $50. If it's not, wait for a sale because I've seen it less than $50. Uh, yeah, or look for it secondhand, which I'm not sure you'll find it because again, not a lot of people talk about it. So I assume not a lot of people have it slash know about it, but it's my favorite. Okay. Now I'm just putting the stuff in the cabinet to kind of deciding where I want to put it and also having no idea <laughs> where I want to put it. And uh, while simultaneously having the thought of, wow, why aren't these cabinets deeper? You know, there's so much space. Why aren't they like three inches deeper. Then I could, you know, shift the, some of the containers the other way. Anyway, it worked out just fine. And there is still kind of no rhyme or reason for the way that I'm organizing. Obviously my bowls are all going in here. You'll see my mixing bowls. Um, and I'm just doing my best. And really there's only one drawer that I feel like I finished that looks oh it's this drawer that looks like ooh has that all all factor is that is that what that factor is called the all factor no that's not it i don't know what it is but <laughs> i think you can kind of understand the wow oh the wow factor is that the right expression oh my gosh you guys i have a headache i need to hydrate and there it is there wow Oh, can we all just do a little wow? And it, uh, with this too, the top shelf, I thought, man, can't it just be three inches wider too? Because then my fourth bowl would have fit up there. But nope, doesn't fit. Oh man, what a shame, you know? Would have been perfect, would have been too perfect. And now I'm second guessing, do I need all those bowls? Like I know I don't need all of those holiday bowls, but I want them, so I'm going to keep them around. But uh, I definitely don't need them. <laughs> I don't, I, and certainly I don't need five of them. All right, I think this is the last drawer that I'm organizing. And I, I'm just trying to shove everything in here. Make sure that it fits, that the drawer isn't like getting caught on the items, you know, because that can happen. And that can happen really quickly, especially when I have the kids putting most of the um, dishes away and stuff. Sometimes they don't know where things go, so they just stack things, you know, and then the drawers get stuck and things don't work out. But, you know, we're all just doing our best over here. I did end up moving that battery container to the laundry room. I got some suggestions to do that. Laundry room or garage. And that's what it, we're gonna do so the next time I need a battery and I say oh my gosh I can't find my battery container remind me I put it in my garage I told Alex too so hopefully if we all know we'll help each other out right <laughs> oh that corner cabinet is another story and we'll work on that another day I feel like but it's there waiting holy cannoli I think I'm done with the kitchen not fully but like what I planned on tackling, you know? So I'll show you what I did and then I'll show you what needs to be done still. Thankfully, these drawers are finished. So now I have all my bowls there. Well, not all, but most. Some of them are down here. This is like excess, completely unnecessary. And then in this drawer, more Tupperware, small containers, stuff like that. Same thing in this drawer. I just have so much. I dare say I have too much, but everything fit in here, which is nice. And then I have two containers. I don't know where they are, fridge or freezer. I don't know, but uh, they're pretty large and they'll go there. I really just put like items together, but what still needs to be done, obviously um, up there, which we'll get to, I don't know, probably never. And then down here, this is where like all my crock pots are, but they never get put away properly. <laughs> It's a mess, just don't judge me, okay? And this is the only thing I'm getting rid of. This bowl is broken somehow, so sad. I think one day I put like something really hot or really cold in it or and it just cracked and then it's just been cracking ever since and then these don't have a match, so bye. And since this boy is still sleeping, 
Oh, something else that needs to get done is my bedroom. It's a mess, so I'm going to, uh-oh, did I just jinx it? I'm gonna tidy it up real quick. Shouldn't take too long. There's just like random junk everywhere, trash on the floor, crumbs on the floor, uh, bed needs to be made, and there's a lot of crumbs over here, which is what I really need to clean up mostly because I don't even know what happened. Oh my gosh, and then over here, ugh, dirty laundry. So I guess we'll throw that in real quick. Hey, while you have a second, why don't you also go real quick, pause this video. <laughs> Okay, if you've ever seen like a kid's video, you know why that's making me laugh. Pause this video real quick, smash that subscribe button and that like button. Okay, I might go back and delete that. <laughs> but if you have a second, why don't you take me on whatever device you have into uh, each of the rooms in your house, gather all of your laundry, throw a load in, and maybe that will kickstart uh, your day and motivate you to maybe do more and maybe not do more. If that's the only thing you do today, good on you. Throw a load of laundry in. It always needs to be done. So hmm, why not? If you're wearing clothes, you're getting them dirty. Oh, hey, speaking of, um, not sleeping in my bed, uh, making the bed. It's good enough. Not great. Also, really, really, really need to, one, tidy up my bedroom, and two, clean the floors. Holy crap, in my entire house, my floors have not been cleaned in weeks, and they really need to be done because they're disgusting. There was, like, chips all over the floor. I don't know if I take you on a tour of this. I'm not even sure. Do I clean it in this? Okay, good. Here it is, the Bissell, whatever this is called, Crosswave, one of my favorites, cleans, sweeps, vacuums mops does all the things all at once and I might even come in I mean obviously not in this video <laughs> I didn't film it but um I might come back with the actual floor mop and give it a twice over because I feel like that's how bad my floors are I mean this did its job and it felt it felt amazingly clean in here after I did it but I feel like I also need to give it like a deeper clean that's just where I'm at, you know? But I do love this thing, the Bissell Crosswave. And I am so glad that I got to cleaning because it really needed to be done. And the floors were rank. They were so gross. I don't, it surprises me every time I clean this thing. Like, what is behind my rocking chair? Who goes behind my rocking chair? Oh, that's right. The toddlers that I reproduced. <laughs> they go behind the rocking chair. I don't know what they do back there, but they make a whole big mess. And, uh, you know, it's just time to clean it up. No big deal. Only took a couple seconds, you know? Well, seconds or minutes. Potato, potato. And you know what else needs to be cleaned? My computer desk. Oh, my office over here. What a luxury this place is. <laughs> I need to start hanging artwork up on the walls. I need to start hanging my certificates and my achievements and that kind of thing. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, so I took just a few minutes of my time. You know what really needs to be clean? This computer chair. Does anyone remember? Oh my gosh, I'm not going to tell you. But does anyone remember where I got this computer chair? If you do, you're one of my besties. I got to tell you that. <laughs> You've been here for a long time. Okay, so only took a few minutes. Clean this place right up. Well, it's dinner time. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I just got the baby down. I don't know how long it's going to last. We've got at least five minutes to whip this meal together. Um, I'm going to make easy beef stroganoff, and then I'm also going to make some Amish noodles. It's like Amish butter egg noodles. So simple, but I don't have butter. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Found some butter. I mean, I do have butter in the freezer, but I don't feel like going out and getting it, and then it's frozen, and then. You know, I don't want to deal with all of that. Okay, so for Amish egg noodling, I need more stuff. Oh my gosh, I have to go in the garage anyway. <laughs> okay, you mean 
All right, here we go. Let's start this thing. If you've never had Amish egg noodles before, you are in for a treat, my friend. My kids are in for a treat. Half a cup of butter, so one stick of butter, and then four cups of chicken broth or chicken stock straight in here. Bring this to a boil, and then add the noodles, and then I'll tell you what to do from there. But first things first, bring it to a boil. And then we're gonna work on this beefy strogue. First thing you have to do for the beefy strogue is cut up, I think it said half an onion. Oh, the baby's up, that's so cool. Love it, love that. Well, <laughs> when I'm making dinner. Oh my goodness, all right, let's chop this onion up really quick because I can't do that with one hand. And of course you guys know I'm gonna go full onion on this because why not, you know? And plus I have a lot of beef. Hey, when I'm looking at the picture of the beef stroganoff, it kind of looks like hamburger helper. And that's really why I'm making it. Uh, mostly because Alex really <laughs> likes hamburger helper, but I don't buy it. And I can't remember the last time I like made it from scratch, so uh, he's in for a treat tonight. All right, let me get my babe. First thing I'm gonna do is just cook up the mushrooms real quick with a little bit of butter and then a little bit of oil. I'm out of olive oil. Oh, I need to go to Costco. I'm just gonna add the mushrooms. The butter's taking forever to cook. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and let these cook down just a touch. Oop, I hear this boiling now. In go the egg noodles and then give them a stir and let them cook for five minutes and then turn it the heat off. All right, the mushrooms are coming along nicely. Once they're done cooking, I'm just gonna take them. How hot is this? Can I manage it? Yeah. I'm gonna reserve these to the side. I'm just gonna throw my ground beef Ooh, right in there. I'm gonna throw the onions in too. Get them all in. After five minutes, turn the heat off for the noodles and let that sit for 25 minutes. To the ground beef, you add three cloves of garlic and then a couple tablespoons of flour. And this is just going to make the sauce nice and creamy and dreamy and thick. Let that flour cook out just a minute. Oh my gosh, I didn't record any of that. <laughs> What did I do? I don't know. I put in two tablespoons of flour. Oh my gosh, seriously, did I not press record? Two tablespoons of flour, let that cook out, and then I added a little splash of Worcestershire sauce, one cup of beef broth, and about a half a cup of sour cream, and that's it. And then I'm turning the heat off. Add in the egg noodles, and mushrooms, but well, I haven't cooked my egg noodles yet, so I have to do that. I mean, I have these, the Amish noodles, but that's just extra. Okay, I cooked up some more noodles. Alex drained them, and I'm just going to pour them in here. I just cooked these in water, not like Amish butter noodle style. Mix that all in. I'm trying to decide if this is creamy enough or if I need to add more beef broth, but I think that's good. And then I'm just gonna dump the mushrooms in here too. Definitely not a good mushroom ratio, but it's okay. All right. Okay, time to eat, hallelujah. Looks better on Pinterest, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh. I feel like I spend 90% of my day just getting him back to sleep. Well, th this is next on my list of things to do today is get this swing up and running for him. Uh, I actually, I feel like I explained it in a previous video, but I picked out this swing and let me get a knife. I was trying to buy one secondhand, couldn't find one, went to Amazon, almost got one that I didn't like because it would have been there that day. And then I went on Target and I found this one, which is actually like $50 cheaper than it was on Amazon. So happy about the price, kind of. It was still more money than I wanted to spend. So many interruptions. I don't know what I was saying. I got a swing, I need to set it up. It's a fancy one. It's fancy like my car seat, it's the same brand. And I can't even believe it. 
I'm not fancy. But this baby's gonna have a fancy car seat. So there, I just kept thinking, resale value, resale value. <laughs> How long can you really use a swing, you know? Ours was good for four years until it went kaput. So, that, oh gosh, I think I'm in over my head here. I feel like it shouldn't be too difficult to put together. Well, was it? <laughs> the directions that came with this thing, I mean, worse than Ikea. Like, I had to stare at them. I just, it didn't explain anything. They might as well just taken a picture of the swing and not provided directions. Like, that's how useless they were. So I needed a screwdriver, which took me a while to figure out. Once I stopped looking at the directions, then I figured out what to do. <laughs> I looked at the picture on the box and that gave me more insight than the actual directions. So um, I got a, once I got a screwdriver, then it was all uphill from there. Uphill, downhill, whatever, it got easier. So I was a little disappointed for, well, okay, a couple of things. I was a little disappointed when I, after I put this thing together and I'll explain why after I put it together, <laughs> but it did not meet my expectations. Um, it looks really nice. That's the first thing Alex said. Wow, that looks expensive. And I said, oh, it wasn't that much more expensive than the other ones because they're all really expensive. And I'm sure, I don't even know. Maybe I should have looked at Bye Bye Baby, but some of them are taller. Our old one was tall. So I thought this one was tall because the pictures on the website were deceiving. And then, you know what? Wolfgang doesn't even like it. He has yet to really sit in it. He uh, he really just likes my arms. And I can't blame him. I'm his mom. You know, that's all he knows. This is where he feels safe. This is where he can smell me and I'm familiar. And he's just not a huge fan of the swing. We're going to give it a little bit more time. Alex said this morning, are we going to return it? <laughs> and I said, well, we'll give it a little bit more time. Okay. Maybe a couple more weeks. Wait for him to like settle down a little bit. But I was underwhelmed when putting it together. As you can see, I thought, is this it? <laughs> okay, where's the rest of it? <laughs> well, there she is. <laughs> I don't, oh my gosh. I don't know what to think, you guys. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to do. Sure, it's pretty, kind of. I mean, it's assembled and it looks okay. I thought it was taller. And that's one of the reasons I bought it because I was looking for a taller one. I could find a smaller one, but like, see what happens when it's lower to the ground like this? <laughs> Our old one was much taller, I think. I feel like it was like this tall. <laughs> Whatever, I guess now we have a swing and now we can try to put the baby in it. He's doing pretty well today with napping, so I can't complain. But some days, I can complain. <laughs> some days are rough. Still in like the survival mode of sometimes I just take it hour by hour and sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, is he still sleeping, you know? When really, is he still sleeping? Is like 30 minutes have passed. All right, well, I mean, it looks pretty, pretty, I don't know what else to say. It's okay, I got it. Look, I made a swing, okay. Speaking of the baby who is still sleeping, uh, he's still sleeping. Ooh! Oh my gosh, it's like pencil shavings. Why am I so frightened by everything? This isn't even dirty. Mm. It is now since it was covered with dirty clothes. These are clean. Uh, so I'm just gonna sort laundry. There's a load in here. I have to deal with this crap. So I'm sure you have laundry to do too. Hey, why don't you throw a load in or fold some with me? Make me feel like I'm not alone doing the super fun mundane tasks that we have to do every day. <laughs> tasks. All right, whatever, let's just do it. Let's do it and live. Do it and get it over with so you can move on with your day. Really, how long does it take to fold? I probably have four loads of laundry here. <laughs> It'll probably take me like half hour. But if you only have one load, it probably takes you 10 minutes. If it's towels, even less. Great. No one said you had to put it away. All you have to do is fold it. And you can say you did laundry today. You know what Alex's favorite thing is? Putting it in the wash and the dryer. He did laundry. Look, he did laundry. <laughs> but now I have to fold it and 
make sure it gets put away. Uh, the kids and Alex, I would like to think it was probably mostly Alex, um, put all of the folded laundry away that I had up here from last week. Because I, I think it's been several days since I've done any. So can't complain about that. All right, hold on. I can complain about this situation. I literally saw a reflection. Oh gosh. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> I scared too easy. If you're wondering why I have a dehydrator in my laundry room, it's because I use this sink to wash it out. Um, it's because I encapsulated my placenta and I actually filmed it. <laughs> But then I was going to put it in the, um, like, my postpartum vlog, kind of, and then I thought, oh, this might be a little too much for some people, so I left it out. I might include it in, like, um, I feel like I can't enunciate my words, like, I'm so tired, my mouth is tired. I want to include it, is that the word I just said that didn't come out right? I, I don't even remember. I might put it in like a postpartum Q&A, labor and delivery q and I I don't even know if that will happen, but I'm gonna put this sucker back in the garage for next time. <laughs> Speaking of the garage, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys about the weather yet today. Yes, hi, this is your grandma calling. How's the weather been by you? We're uh, down here in Florida, we're getting a little cold snap, okay? And I feel like uh, we need to move. <laughs> I love when the weather drops below 70. Isn't that a joy? We are actually going to, I'm doing more talking than folding. We're going to um, like a fall festival kind of thing, a pumpkin patch kind of thing. I don't know what it's called. They have a corn maze. They have a bunch of activities for the kiddos. It's just a fun day all around. And they've got hay rides, which are those really fun? Mm, deb debatable. Depends on who you're riding with. Anyway, we're planning on going to one of those this weekend and I'm really excited about it. And I just checked the weather. The high that day is 80 and that is a treat for us. Although I'm sure we're still going to be sweating. <laughs> In my mind I'm like, oh I can wear a sweater. <laughs> no, no you can't, okay? I can't explain to you how excited I am for our outing. So last weekend we had like a family outing and, you know, same with this weekend. And some people might think, oh, you're only, you know, two weeks postpartum this weekend. I'll be three weeks postpartum. Some, so some people might think, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're out doing stuff. Um, in my mind, <laughs> like gives me something to look forward to, you know? like getting out of the house. I haven't gotten out of the house. Well, I went out, went out once to get a Target pickup order and to grab some groceries. And that was it. So sometimes just like for me, I need to just break away from these four walls, you know, get some sunshine. I like going outside and like rocking Wolfgang, but sometimes just like getting out out is nice. But then <laughs> I say that, but after last weekend, I thought, oh my gosh, I really overdid it, walking way too much. So uh, thankfully where we're going this weekend, it won't be a ton of walking and uh, we'll be meeting up with some of my family members. So I'm excited about it. I think it'll be a really nice weekend to just catch up and hang out with family and have a good time, enjoy some crisp cold lemonade at the fall festival <laughs> because what do you do at your fall festivals is it also 90 degrees out actually it'll be 80 but you get what I'm trying to say lemonade never tasted sweeter as sweet as it does at a fall festival surrounded by family and good times I saw something on Instagram the other day that uh, it was like a reel but then the caption or whatever said that if you have a newborn, I encourage you to just take out your phone, set it somewhere, and capture these little moments. Just these everyday, ordinary moments 
Uh, because, you know, these moments may not seem like anything special, but they are everything. They're the moments that make me want to cry because I know these moments are fleeting and they won't last forever, even though some days feel like years. But as each day passes, the smell of tux pads and dermoblast fade away. And I know the newborn scent isn't too far behind. It's hard for me to wrap my head around. It's a whirlwind, the newborn face is. For better or for worse, it's just full of ups and downs. And <laughs> I mean, it's the best and it's the hardest and extremely challenging. But so rewarding and just so fleeting man it goes by so fast and it's hard to grasp and I just want to remember every nook and cranny I want to remember every second of it but also I want to forget some parts of it my hormones are raging and that means emotions are just so high and so low and when I think about him growing up it makes me want to cry when I think about him being our last, oh my gosh, that's the hardest. But it's all worth it. All of it. All those little kisses, all those little snuggles, all the hard nights, all the sleepless nights, all the cries, <laughs> hours of fussiness. It, oh my gosh, like I have an almost 12 year old and I can't even believe it. It just went by in the snap of my fingers. I can remember so vividly when my oldest was this little. So vividly. Where did the years go? Where did they go? I don't know. Trying to soak it all in. Trying to remember every moment. And it is hard. But it does not last forever. That's why they call it a season. But I will miss it and all of its struggles. What I'm doing right now is actually putting the baby down and oh my gosh, I can't, I don't know if I've ever told you guys about this, but um, did you know that newborns have different cries and it's, they're they're very distinct when you know what to listen for, um, but also they kind of sound similar. So there's a video, it's, Uh, like a really old video from Oprah. So if you YouTube it or Google it, type in Oprah newborn cries and there's an interview with someone. It doesn't last very long, but I think there are four different, four or five different newborn cries and they have a slightly different sound to them. So if you know what you're listening for, you can kind of know what you're infant is asking for which is very cool so that's one thing that I kind of like listen out for so okay so some cries will mean like they're hungry they're tired they're uncomfortable that kind of thing so I think there's only four because I can only remember three what's the fourth I don't remember (laughs) but I I remember the important ones Um, so I'm also putting him to bed I saw another interview with someone Say, oh gosh, it makes me want to roll my eyes, but get your newborn to sleep in two minutes. You know, it was one of those. But the techniques that she teaches are very helpful. So it's basically just trying to recreate the settings of the womb. So that is white noise, that is a um, tight snuggle, a swaddle. <laughs> I was trying to think of that word. A tight swaddle, a nice, comfortable swaddle. And also they like to suck on things. That's really the only reflex that they can control. So that's um, something that they can do to soothe themselves is just that suckle effect. And um, then also if you saw me like, you know, putting my hand on his forehead, (laughs) words are so hard. I can't even explain forehead and like his head trying to recreate like the amniotic fluid rushing over his face, you know, while also encouraging his, um, you know, eyelids to close while brushing his eyebrows and stuff. So anyway, those are things that 
I like to do to encourage him to fall asleep and they really do help. So if any of those tips will be helpful to you, I thought, you know what, I might as well share them right now. Ah, oh, the newborn phase. So many things to say about it, right? It's so special and unique and incredible and amazing. What other synonyms can I come up with? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, embrace it. Uh, I just keep trying to tell myself it's it won't last forever, and that's a blessing and a curse. A whole new load of laundry behind me, but I, <laughs> I'm also in my robe, but I did shower today, so that's a win. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I'll see you next time.